According to a well-known proverb, Barolo is both the wine of kings and the king of wines. It's a perfect illustration of how a particular grape variety, Nebbiolo in this case, and a geographical location may work together to create something truly special. Barolo is known for producing some of the most expensive and long-lived wines in the world. It is produced in the Lang, which is located in the Cuneo province of Piedmont in northern Italy. Keep watching our guide to Barolo wine to learn everything you need to know to properly enjoy everything that this great wine has to offer. But before we start, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Let's start. The wines of Barolo are renowned for their ability to age and typically acquire a rusty red hue as they progress through the aging process. Barolo is sometimes characterized as having scents reminiscent of roses and tar. Before it can be released to the public, Barolo must have been matured for at least 36 months from the harvest, with at least 18 months of that time spent in wood. This regal title dates back to the 19th century, when Barolo, which was made from the renowned Nebbiolo grapes, became popular among the royalty of the day. The Barolo region may be found in the rolling hills of Lang and Piemonte, which is in the northwest corner of Italy. This region is well known for the production of intensely complex and powerful red wines. What kind of wine is Barolo? Barolo is the name of both the wine and the appellation in which it is made. It is required to be produced solely from the Nebbiolo grape variety and can only be found in the Piedmont area of Italy's northernmost peninsula. Barolo can only come from the Barolo DOCG, Denominazione d'Origine Controllata e Garantita, and it must be produced following a strict set of rules and regulations, the most important of which is that it be composed entirely of Nebbiolo that was grown on hillsides. Nebbiolo is grown in other countries around the world, of course, but Barolo can only come from the Barolo DOCG. Where in Italy does Barolo wine originate? In the same way that Champagne can only come from the Champagne region in France, Barolo can only come from the Barolo Appellation in the Piedmont region of Northern Italy. Champagne can only come from the Champagne region in France. However, even within the region of Barolo itself, there are considerable demarcations, including 11 different communes. Monfort d'Alba, La Mora, Castiglione Filetto, and Serralunga d'Alba are four of the Barolo communes that are considered to be among the most important. In addition to the 11 communes, there is also a system known as MGAs, which is an abbreviation for the Italian phrase Menzo in Geografica Aguntiva. MGAs are distinct locations within the communes whose Nebbiolo grapes produce Barolo wines that are particularly distinctive or noteworthy. What are the benefits of drinking Barolo wine? The wine known as Barolo is considered to be among the most valuable, age-worthy, and collectible wines in the entire world. In the same way that so many other great wines are, Barolo is a fascinating reflection of a specific location, as seen through the lens of a single grape variety throughout its production. In this regard, there are a number of compelling similarities between Barolo and Burgundy. Burgundy is a strongly defined region in which minute variances in terroir and microclimate affect the character of the Pinot Noir that grows there. Barolo, on the other hand, is a location with many compelling similarities that are similar to Barolo. The origins of Barolo date back hundreds of years at the very least. The origins of Nebbiolo have been traced back to the 1200s by the vast majority of researchers, whereas the history of Barolo in the form that we are accustomed to seeing it now dates back to the middle of the 19th century at the earliest. Despite this, it is largely acknowledged to be among the most significant red wines produced anywhere in the world. The Barolo wine is one that is worth waiting for. You can enjoy them in their youth, particularly after spending some time in the decanter and vigorously swirling the wine in the glass, but a superb Barolo reveals itself most profoundly when it has had some time to age. It is recommended to wait at least three to five years after purchasing a bottle of Barolo before popping the cork. This does not mean that you should store every bottle of Barolo for decades, as each vintage is unique, as are the farming and winemaking techniques employed by producers throughout the Appalachian. However, in general, it is best to give Barolo at least this much time to mature before drinking it. Barolo produced in a modern style, with more ripe fruit and higher oak influence, has a tendency to be somewhat more generous early, whereas traditionally styled Barolo frequently need additional time to reach its full potential. In terms of combining Barolo with food, there is no more traditional match than enjoying the wine with a straightforward pasta dish that is topped with shaved white truffles. This is one of the most iconic ways to enjoy the wine. This combination is featured in restaurants all across Piedmont when it is truffle season in Piedmont, which typically lasts from October to December each year. Truffle season in Piedmont typically runs from October to December. In the event that you are unable to obtain fresh white truffles, you can substitute truffle salt or truffle oil with successful results. Barolo is best enjoyed with sada or cheese, which is a variety of Italian cow's milk cheese that is dotted with pieces of black truffle. 
In addition to going well with beef and veal, game meats, mushrooms of all varieties, and even a simple tray of cured meats, this wine is a good match for all of these foods. How does one describe the flavor of Barolo? In its youth, Barolo has flavors of brambly berries and cherries which are framed by acidity that leaves your mouth watering and tannins that are robust but not typically heavy. There is frequently a trace of flowers peeking through, in addition to something more savory. These are all harbingers of great things to come. Additionally, the aroma of tobacco and traces of spice are frequently detected. However, a ripe Barolo will develop aromas of tar, roses, mushrooms such as truffles and porcini, and fruits belonging to the family of mountain berries and cherries as the wine ages. There are five outstanding Barolo wines. On the current market, one can get a vast selection of excellent Barolo wines. Glenn Proctor, a well-known wine professional, believes that beginning one's exploration of Barolo with these five producers, which are presented in alphabetical order, is the ideal way to get started. This esteemed Barolo producer, which is now run by Maria Teresa Bartolo's daughter, is responsible for producing some of the most nuanced and complex Nebbiolo wines that are available on the market today. Chris and Alessandria is responsible for the production of a variety of exceptional Barolos, some of the most notable of which are the Barolo Comune de la Mora, Capilla, and Galena. These wines are often difficult to track down, but they are well worth the effort. These wines, including the Barolo Roche dell'Annunziata and the Barolo Reserva, are at the very top of the wish lists of a significant number of collectors. One of the most notable examples of Massolino's winemaking prowess is the Barolo Normale. Massolino is a legendary winery that has been producing world-class beverages since 1896 and can be found in the town of Saralonga d'Alba. The breadth and depth of their Barolo and Barbaresco offerings are nothing short of spectacular. Pio Cesare can trace its roots all the way back to the year 1881. Pio Cesare is known for producing a variety of superb wines, including the world-renowned Barolo Classic, as well as single vineyard Barolo, Barbaresco, Barbara, and others. Due to the high cost of production and the limited availability, Barolo wine is regarded as one of the finest wines in the world. The Nebbiolo grape is notoriously tough to cultivate, and the resulting wine needs to spend a significant amount of time aging in oak barrels, which drives up the price. How long is the aging process for Barolo wine? There are some parcels that have a significantly higher potential for development and maturation than others. In a nutshell, Barolo wines have the ability to age for a minimum of 8 to 10 years. However, depending on the terroir and the individuals who create it, the wines can mature for anywhere between 15 and 20 years or even longer for some vintages. Comment down below if you have any queries and subscribe to our channel for more. Thanks for watching.